Hello guys, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming, and, and I'm here with Tanakh127. What's going on guys? How you all doing today? And you can find our channel links in the description below. <laughs> and we're going to talk about E3 2016. This is the Sony edition. And they had so much content at this at this freaking press conference. I'm so happy. <laughs> And the first thing that they showed off, I was like, what is this? Is this, this is definitely Horizon. Like, I thought, like, they yeah, they, they had, the well, they did have the music, and I was like, well, this could be what it ended up being, but I once they start, started showing footage, the little kid looked like he could have been from the universe of Horizon, uh, yeah. Zero Dawn. <laughs> the way he was dressed and everything, he looked literally like he could have been that girl's, like, nephew or something. Oh yeah, it it looked like it, and I thought, well, what what is this? And it eventually ended up being the God of War because you could see Kratos. I think Kratos. This could be. My friend thought this was his father. I yeah, have I was, no that's what idea. I was, I was thinking like the kid was Kratos. That's what. That's what some people it, think. I even that's what my friend was telling me. He's like, I think that's I think Kratos is a boy here. Because if you remember playing the games, it didn't work too good for his family. It does look like Norse mythology. Um, that's what the original God of War was supposed to be based around. But they kind of changed it into Greek mythology. <laughs> and it was like, I am Sparta. That's what it looks like. And he doesn't sound like Kratos either. If you hear him, the actor does not sound the same. It could be the same actor, just different type of voice. And yeah, this this game looks gorgeous. This was like, I don't know, this was up where with For Honor. This is a really beautiful looking game, and the combat is very similar to the other ones. He has an axe instead of uh, his blades. Um, what do you think about the combat? Did you like it? Oh uh, yeah, the combat was on. Was was definitely awesome. And I like the... how um, interactive <laughs> and everything it was too. Oh yeah, for sure. And the killing animation was oh was so good. Yeah. <laughs> and what this one person said was the ogre troll looking thing. They think it's uh something about Van Valhalla and that's something to do with Norse mythology. So I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna watch it back again. This is it's it's fun to watch. They had like about a ten minute gameplay demo and that's how they started E3. They started off pretty good. That game, yeah. you can definitely tell the difference between that and God of War 3 and Ascension. <laughs> Unlike Gears of War 4 and the previous ones. They, they're they starting to look the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely got to give it to Sony for the way they started their conference off. It was so epic. Um, everything down to... You know, they the just... Like they had the one show. trailer... They had, they had one time. gameplay... To the next trailer, to the next trailer, and then more yeah. gameplay videos, and then they then they started talking. <laughs> yeah, they just didn't. They, they just didn't stop dishing out. Dishing they out they let their games do the talking in this one. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think about Days Gone? Days Gone actually looks um looks oh really cool. God. I would, um, I would like to uh, to play a zombie survival survival game like that i'm just hoping that maybe there could possibly be some type of multiplayer in there I'm not i don't think sure. it is it looks yeah. similar to like a game from naughty dog called the last of us <laughs> kind of looks yeah. similar to that but really really cool um yeah this is made by bend they've been working on a game for a long time and i'm assuming it's this one yeah. and it looks amazing <laughs> And what what did you think about the combat in this one? Like in the, the combat gameplay? definitely looks looks good. Um, the, the shooting mechanics and everything look very solid. But the reason I was just hoping, you know, there would be multiplayer or something, your odds in that game just seem very low. Like that guy in that trailer, he was heavily outnumbered. Like to be by yourself, you're going against some serious <laughs> stuff. In this game. It, like I'm um, just. Floods and like Sony had like Sony has their own. This looked like when I saw that that um the Xbox one. This game looked much better than that one. 
this one just like blew it out of the water when I saw it. It looked so good. And then after this game, they announced like they didn't announce anything actually. <laughs> they showed a new trailer for The Last Guardian, which that looks really good. S- like literally, like this conference. If you looked at like how many people were watching it, it was like hundreds and hundreds of thousands. And compared to like Microsoft and the other ones were so little, and so many people were watching this, and it was awesome. The Last Guardian looked beautiful. And they showed a second, um, what is his name? Trico? Is that the name of the creature? I'm not sure what that is. One time I yeah. thought that's what they named him. But they showed a uh, different one. Sure. <laughs> they showed a second one. And from what someone was saying after the game, gameplay, they were saying that maybe your guy dies or something. Your creature, your pet thing, dies because there's more than one in the game. But I have no idea. It, it was like a dark one. It looked cool. Did you watch the trailer? The for trailer for um, the Last Guardian, the yeah, new one. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Oh yeah, this one so good. And they got a release date. It's coming out on October twenty fifth, which I can't wait for that. It's it's gonna be an awesome game. <laughs> yeah, that one was that that one blew me away. I can't I can't wait to play that. That I definitely wanna wanna get. And what did you think of Horizon Zero Dawn? They just literally came one game after the next, after the next. And this was a gameplay demo, and this game looks gorgeous. Yeah, Horizon, and the thing I like about it is, too, like, you can almost tell that that game is made by Guerrilla. It looks, it literally looks like an RPG kind of set, like, in in a Killzone-type universe, no lie. Like, those... The robots they the have. Robo dinosaurs. I yeah, love they, dinosaurs, they and I've been like waiting for a dinosaur game, and this looks sweet. <laughs> yeah, they look like things you would see in, in Killzone. It's just, it's awesome, and, and you know that they shock me too. You know, for somebody that's been you know doing so many FPS, they're they're definite in an RPG. And this is a third person, like yeah. RPG game. I was just like, I was just like, wow. They, they they really shock you with this one. Traps coming right up. Like I can't wait for Ark whenever that comes out. But oh, yeah. this game is like off the chains. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and there was also um in the game you saw some different gameplay mechanics that you didn't see before. Like all they showed before was trailers. There's one part where she was whistling to get her creature to yeah. come back or attack or something. And yeah, you gotta see a lot more of the the bow, and you yeah, you need to see all that. Weapons, yeah, everything. I came from Mother's Rise. A few different types of few different types of creatures, and it seems like every Some battle person. too is like really, really different. It requires you to take a different approach or or strategy because all those creatures just like are like out out strength. You just like. It's like totally you got to be cautious like how you approach everything and I do like that feel of that game yeah exactly the village. what did you think of the next trailer that came out then um, Detroit beyond human or become human sorry um, I'm thinking of beyond two souls because it's a David Cage game yeah. it's the same well, studios that made beyond two souls and heavy rain yeah, I was actually a big fan of Heavy Rain, and this actually reminded me a lot. Of, well, first uh, off, do you remember it being announced before? They actually announced this before. This is just a new trailer for it. No, I didn't. I don't even remember hearing about this game. It at was. All. Uh, they had something last year for it. I don't remember if it was at E3 or Gamescom, but they had it. They didn't show much for it. They just showed Detroit. And that's. They didn't show much. But this shows off over uh, almost five minutes of the game, and it's really awesome. <laughs> oh, huh. yeah, I had um, I had no idea, but no, it looked really good. It definitely reminded me and um, made me gave me that um, that heavy rain vibe again. Like uh, I guess like the whole the detective crime solving. Um, yeah, and he seems to be the uh, the guy you saw, and it seems to be like some type of cop android type of guy. Yeah. So it's kind of futuristic, and that end part with the little girl, you don't think he's going to take her off the thing, because we're not going to show that off, and then he actually does try to do 
Yep, and then they show you there's a thousand different ways you can handle the situation. Oh, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to this one. I think that's really, that's really <laughs> cool. It def definitely took me back to... Oh, I love Heavy, heavy Rain. Rain. Actually, like, Beyond Two Souls more, but apparently people didn't like the game. They didn't like there's not enough gameplay. But <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of games like that. I liked it. The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that got game of the year, but this game, like, I, like that's the only thing that made me mad about that. I don't, yeah. I don't want to rant too much, but it's like, you gave Walking Dead, which hardly has any gameplay, and Beyond Two Souls, you're saying it sucks because it doesn't have enough gameplay, but it has more gameplay than that. So, and there's a lot of choices and stuff in that. Game. Yeah, The Walking Dead literally offers no element. I know, challenge. and they it got such good reviews, and. It got like I like it though. I like it, but I don't. I think people are contradictory on that because you say this game is bad because it doesn't have enough. Like, and the things they're complaining about that is what Walking Dead actually had less of. So. Right. <laughs> oh man, people already have Resident Evil Seven up, <laughs> and that's our next gameplay topic. <laughs> um, there is uh, Resident Evil Seven. Which I, this is like the first time that I thought, well, there's a couple times where I thought Silent Hills was going to be somehow in Sony's hands. This trailer, right. they took a lot out of Silent Hills and they added it to, and this is the first, uh, I think, virtual reality game that they showed off at Sony's press conference. So all the next games, I think, are all virtual reality. Resident Evil 7 was announced and it looked like Silent Hills literally from the start to beginning and it looks like survival horror if i'm sure it'll be a little like silent hills was very slow paced but that was just a demo too this one probably will be a little faster than that i don't think it like i don't think it's gonna be super fast because they're trying to go with the all horror route and this comes out on right. january 24th it's supposed to be available right now I didn't see it in my store, but someone has it. Apparently, someone's live streaming it right now. <laughs> Maybe it's on the Japanese store. We're going to have to check that out then. <laughs> it might be on the Japanese store. We're going to have to look yeah, for that. I might, I might go grab that. I'm about to hit the search bar. <laughs> yeah, I want to play that. It's supposed to be available right now. That you can play the demo of it. And it, Oh, my gosh. like It kicked ass. That I am so, yeah, And it was it. called Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Like, subtitle Biohazard. And if you don't know what that is, that's what it literally is, translates to in Japan. Usually it's Biohazard 6 or 7. That's what it usually is. But they're trying to go with the horror route, and I can't wait to play it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love PT, and this is what it looks like. Yeah. But PT it is. might be better than that, so I don't know. And it looked like a new character, too. It didn't look like... It wasn't Leon. It wasn't Chris. It looked like a brand new character in that game. Uh, yeah, you have any other thoughts about Resident Evil 7? Now you just want to hurry up and get this done with. Yeah, so you can play I just want... I, the only thought I have about it now is that I want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were more VR games shown. Farpoint. Oh, I thought all these looked pretty good. I just hope they're not... If they're like $60 games, I won't be buying them all whenever I get VR, but by the time I get VR, they might be cheap. They showed a uh, VR Battlefront mission, so basically one, I don't know if it's just one part of the Star Wars Battlefront universe that you're playing in VR, but that's cool. There is a Batman Arkham VR game coming, so that'll be cool. That's coming out in October, which that could be the whole, like, we saw there was a remaster coming in Oct I think that's coming out in October too. Maybe it's just having VR support yeah. with it. So that's cool. Final Fantasy 15 was showed off with VR and I thought this gameplay was much better than the Xbox conference. Definitely. And there are there is a Final Fantasy 15 movie. I think we covered that in the Xbox One conference too. Yeah, there's a yeah, movie coming out for that. Really um, also, Call of Duty, I kind of tuned out. Um, we already had Good. space gameplay in Ghosts, so you didn't like I don't any of the Call of Duty. I don't. I just don't care. <laughs> 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 I did like the remastered trailer they had for okay. Call of Duty Remastered, and it's definitely 
<laughs> I feel like a little bit more hopeful after seeing um some gameplay. I'll say I'm the confused gameplay here gameplay. though. So it says the campaign mode will be playable 30 days early on PlayStation, assuming you pre-order the appropriate edition. <laughs> Does that mean that so for PlayStation owners, we get Call of Duty Modern Warfare remastered early, yeah. like the whole story mode for that early. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's cool. To, I like that. Early. It's gonna piss off a lot of Xbox fans, but <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want to buy Infinite War. I'm gonna wait, and I think they will release it separate because yeah, a lot of people is, aren't only buying it because of that game. But they're not gonna do it till like probably. I think they will eventually. Play through that game's life cycle. At least. It's gonna be a. It's gonna Quite be a while. Because the thing is, people are gonna bitch and bitch and bitch and. And if it doesn't sell well at all, then they're not gonna have it. They're gonna. They're probably release it like the next month or next week or so. <laughs> it has. I think when I saw it, they compared the numbers at the same time. It was like sixteen thousand pre-orders in the U.S. compared to. Black Ops 3, which had 400 to 500,000 units pre-ordered, yeah. and it was like at 16,000 or 20,000, and that's it's a lot lower. <laughs> so the Very. next next thing they showed was Crash Bandicoot, which I I didn't want the rumors to be true, but at the one thing I hope the the remaster is good. If the remaster is like just oh, we're just gonna throw the PlayStation version like the original playstation versions onto the ps4 it's 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 okay but i would rather have like a fully remastered like ratchet and clank style yeah <laughs> for the ps4 but they're gonna release crash bandicoot 1 2 and 3 uh with warped the third one on the remastered on the playstation 4 they didn't talk about it at all but that's cool um skylanders imaginations is gonna have a crash exclusive for um, PlayStation, and I thought that looked it looked terrible to me. <laughs> did you did you like the gameplay? Like it no, didn't, didn't it didn't seem right, and it didn't it sound like weird. Crash. They made yep, it like a kid Crash. Crash in, in the game, I was just like, come on! Isn't ki isn't Crash already for kids? Like I don't understand mm -hmm. how, why you'd have to change his voice either. They made it sound more like a more kid like. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that was. It was it's Activision, is what it is. This isn't the last thing either. This is the big one. This is like the biggest thing out of the conference. Hideo Kojima came out with Death Stranding, which I literally thought it was Silent Hills. I knew that was Norman yeah. Reedus right away, and I was like, "The baby, there's the there's the little baby from the sink, <laughs> the fetus baby." So I thought it was that, but it wasn't. It was just a baby, and Norman Reedus, and it, it could literally be very closely related, like how Silent Hills. It could definitely. It could. It it has that horror theme. Yeah, so it has Norman Reedus, and if you don't know who that is, it's he's from The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> and Kojima's working on it, and I wish. Uh, Del Toro was still on it. I don't know. He could be on it. Maybe they'll get Del Toro to come back and work on it. Um, he makes a lot of horror movies and TV shows. Did you ever see The Strain? No, I've never seen that. It's awesome, awesome TV show. I think it's on FX. He worked on that, and he works on a lot of horror movies. But he was on a PT project, and then he got kind of got upset because he was like, every game I try to work on, it ends up ruining people. Because every game he's ever tried to work on, like it ends up the company ends up going out of business. <laughs> but it looked good. It was like a mix between Walking Dead and like PT. I, I, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, I wish sense. that had a demo. <laughs> yeah, watch. Jeez, that would be nice. To play that. But that was definitely that and Resident Evil were definitely my favorite. Um, well, there's a lot actually. <laughs> Spider-Man was the next game announced, and it's made by Sucker Punch. So I'm assuming Sony now has the rights back to the games of because Activision was making games like all the time. So I'm assuming yeah. Sony now has the rights to the uh, 
maybe they bought them back um, they have the movie rights to Spider-Man so now they're working on a game for that and I actually think they gave it over to Marvel the movie I'm not sure but they're working on a new game it looked cool I can't wait to see what Insomniac has because they made Infamous and Infamous is very close to Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Like, yeah. like it's very close to that type of style so yeah, I can't wait to, to see what Insomniac right. has so I didn't let you talk much <laughs> I'm excited so what did yeah, you dude, think of that dude. last there's last parts there which one like uh, Spider-Man and uh, um, the Spider-Man and the Death Stranding well Death, Death Stranding I've been a fan of uh, Kojima since literally the first Metal Gear Solid uh, I didn't Death expect Stranding. that at all <laughs> like he was showing these like preview pictures and stuff it looked nothing like it wasn't even anything closely related I was thinking yeah, I was thinking, you know, we were going to get some, like, crazy type of... I thought we were getting a shooter. Yeah, I was, thinking, you know, I was like, I was like, alright, freaking... But I'm happy. Yeah, I'm him. not sad. He, he's going to make some, like, Metal Gear killer. But this dude, you know, went went to his roost. But the thing is, like, he knew how devastated people were after that canceled PT project and everything. So he definitely is going in the, in the right direction. And, uh, you know... This game, and you know, just judging judging by you know what I saw, like the game starts, you know, you see like all the dead crabs, dead fish, and stuff like that. I was like, all right, it's definitely based something around horror. And then once I saw you know the guy from The Walking Dead, I was like, once I saw yeah. Norman Reedus, I was like, wait, are we still getting the Silent Hills? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. that happened twice. They fooled me. <laughs> and um, then Spider Man, Spider Man looks pretty cool. Like I said, um, like you had said. Uh, fact that you know insomniacs behind it you know the, the makers have been missing stuff i trust it and i think the um the concept will, of it will probably be done even better than usual so i'm expecting that to be pretty... the only thing i didn't like about the games like i know it's minor complaint is where's his uh web going when you're already in the air above the buildings like you just randomly <laughs> shoot and it'll just like, go up above the oh, buildings yeah. it's like oh that's weird but i don't know if they ever fix that in the newer game <laughs> I have no idea, but that is a funny thing. I didn't even I'm notice that myself. Looking so for something. Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to look at the Japanese store. The European store might have it. Oh, but you guys will definitely have to check that out. Um, check out Tanax, his gameplay for Resident Evil 7, because I know he's gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it. And not, I can't do it. Because you have to have PlayStation Plus on your Japanese account, and I don't oh. have again. Do the do the free trial if oh, you can. Shit, that's right. Okay. Do free trial. Oh, and then it, then it'll be like you won't understand anything. But who the fuck cares? They're not. All they're gonna do is talk in Japanese. <laughs> you should see if they have in the European first, if you can. And they might have it in there. But yeah, that's our thoughts on that. We really want to play Resident Evil Seven. And we want to play Kojima's... I want to play everything except for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and <laughs> the Crash Bandicoot Skylanders. And I swear, Sony, please give me analog stick controls for Crash, Crash. Bandicoot. Oh, oh my, my god. Yes, that. Yes, mm, I, that's why I kept dying. That <laughs> and I hope they fix some of the gameplay because <laughs> it's a yeah. very dated game. God of War, oh man, I've been talking about that. God of War was amazing. And they didn't even skip it. It wasn't God of War 4, it's just God of War. So I'm yeah. assuming it's coming out next year, probably. And it'll look even better. And it'll probably have VR eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so this next year is going to be so big for Sony. This year has already been so big. And yeah. They didn't show Gravity Rush, which they'll, they'll show off TGS and Gamescom. So we still got those conferences. <laughs> And we got uh, Hellblade Swiss coming out this year. That will probably be at Gamescom. So many games they didn't even show. And that are going to be awesome. So let us know your thoughts. And I'd give this a 10 out of 10. Like I said, it was it was amazing. The only... I would give it a 9.9. .9. How about that? Because of Crash Bandicoot <laughs> Skylanders. Because right. they, they half gave me that game. 9.9. What would you give it? Was it, yeah, was it better than Ubisoft? 
Yeah, definitely better than Ubisoft. So it has um, to be higher than nine. <laughs> I was going, I was going to give it a ten, but um, I'm just going to go with your nine point nine or nine point eight rating because of so that. We, um, that freaking. That Crash Bandicoot, Crash they Bandicoot kind of Skylanders. like gave us something we wanted, but then they're like, "Oh, here's Skylanders. We yeah. we don't want that." <laughs> Just like, all right, we gotta we gotta screw this up somehow. Let's toss something dumb in there. Come and on. that was leaked too. <laughs> like people were saying how there's gonna be the Skylanders with Crash on it. So thank you guys for watching. Check out our Resident Evil Seven coverage and our E three coverage of the other videos. I'm sure you'll find them. We'll have links in the description and maybe cards, that little I button up there, and annotations maybe. So. Thank you guys. Check out both our channels and see ya. Later guys.